How freaky were you guys like throughout all of this? Like we oh, doing think, like, orgies and weird So not orgies. You guys are my first, so thank you for Aww. that. Um but no, we we definitely would bring girls home and and vice versa. He would bring like mostly his, his guy friends, not like random guys. I would bring random girls home though cuz I thought that that was like so, whatever. I just thought, like you're, you're like 19, he's mm -hmm. 23 or whatever. You guys were working at a restaurant oh, yeah. like how how does it come up between you guys as a couple that you're like down for this sort of thing? Because I feel like some couples are a little closed off. They don't know how to communicate about what they actually are yeah. into. So he's a Gemini. You're a Gemini. Yeah. Communication, baby. Do you like to talk about everything? I Maybe guess I, I do. I don't know. Yeah. He talks about everything and I'm, I'm very open to I'm an open book. Like you ask me, I'm going to tell you exactly everything. Um, so I think communication was just spot on from the get go. He was like, hey, you want? My and, friends, yeah, like, so that's kind of. I'm like, let's bring a girl into the to the bedroom, and he was like, yeah, it, let's do it. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. Like, and then <laughs> <laughs> and then we did it. And then it was like, okay, like that was hot. And I'm not a jealous girl at all. Like, I have no jealous bone in my body. Unfortunately, <laughs> I wish I did sometimes, uh, but I wasn't affected by it. So he could go a random girl, and it would. Yeah, really as bother. long as he told me, right. I'd be like, oh, really? Sweet. Okay, like, it wasn't just after. with you. Um. Yeah, that might be a little different, I guess. Okay. I don't think I'd be so mad, but I'd be like, oh, like you should have told me, like, because I thought you were getting groceries. But what or... if he, what if he <laughs> yeah. goes to the bar with his and, like, friends? Meets a girl? They're in Vegas. Let's go to mm. Vegas because that's where yeah, things yeah. happen, like, apparently. And like, he meets a girl. She's a waitress or some, shit, and ends up banging her that night. And he doesn't really get a chance to let you know that this is. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't think I would be mad. It doesn't bother me. I don't care. Like. Cause I know at the end of the day, like we like we trust each other. Like nothing's gonna come out of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You you slipped your in her. Okay. So were it you doing been worse, your thing like, too, or, or or was he just doing his thing on the side? Um, for like hooking up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like I never hooked up with anybody outside of him. If it was like if there was another guy involved, it was the three of us, mm -hmm. and it was all his friends. So we all like, I was when I was younger, I was like, I just wish somebody would do an Eiffel Tower on me. <laughs> He's like, I can make that happen. Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. So him and his best friend, we were drunk at work and we went into the office, which was like. At work? Yeah. During, Wait a yeah, during the shift. You can just get drunk at work? Yeah. When, when there's, you're at a bar? Well, yeah. You're at a bar. <laughs> like you can take as many shots as you want. <laughs> okay. But not enough shots that you're falling down and passing out, I mean, out, well, right? yeah. No. You, obvi you, if you're smart, obviously but you like, won't do that. What's the standard of how drunk you can get? So the beer there was pretty strong. Like I think our strongest was around like 7.5%. So like if you take one like one or two shots of that, you might be feeling like good. Right. Like and the shots were like, you know, not a little skippy shot. It was like a hefty little shot. Uh-huh. So And then you're in the office getting three, Eiffel yeah, Tower. Yeah, exactly. By your coworkers. Yeah. Dick was, in my mouth, dick in the yeah. Was this <laughs> the kind of thing where you were terrified that you were gonna get caught on the job? So that's actually one of like my kinks is like like the thought of getting caught, like just intensifies like And potentially fired. Yeah, well, I can't get fired. My, I'm fucking my boss. Actually, they're both the boss. So my husband and his best friend are both. But he's not the, the owner. Boss. He's not the owner, but the owner is so chill. I can just see him being like, ah, just don't do it again, guys. Wow, really? Yeah. <laughs> and I guess it's like a lot of businesses. The owner is just never going to come by. It's, yeah, he was yeah. never there. Literally, Alex ran the joint. Like right. he was in charge of everything like he had the keys he had the passwords he had the cameras you know like the nest cams that you can have yeah. on. he had all that like he had everything would you say that all the other employees knew that the higher-ups and management and whatnot were having threesomes in i the think back? so really yeah, yeah. i think so yeah wow. it, yeah Ooh. well see when you work in a restaurant it's hard not to like fuck like you know they all fu everybody fucks each other really like i wasn't doing that i was just fucking alex I never but like a they all hook up with each other especially when there's alcohol involved and like yeah, it's just bound I feel to like happen. the grocery store I worked at, all the girls and all the guys. Oh were yeah, I think yeah, you can work anywhere, especially for your your like teens or twenties. You spend like forty hours a week together. Exactly, you, you gonna, get to know these people. You know, have some. Oh yeah, you're at least like weighing the pros and cons, or like kind yeah. of considering what it would be like to fuck some of these people. Yeah, it is just so happen. weird though, because like you work together, so oh, yeah. you fucks the wrong person, it gets awkward, someone catches too many feelings. Yeah. I don't know. It's exactly. kind of like the whole point of even having a job. Right? Just so you can fuck people? <laughs> yeah. That's why I think I turned to this, right? I'm like, how do I make money just doing this? <laughs> right. Okay. So once you get into the OnlyFans thing, though, is it just kind of blow up right away? Or how does so, it go? So, no. I was actually only doing... I, I feel so embarrassed saying this, but it's the truth. I only started doing, like, photo, like, bundles and, like, fully, like, 
like I wasn't showing anything. You, you know, shouldn't be no, embarrassed. I feel like a lot of people say I know, like that. Right? Yeah. But I was like, I was like, let's just see how it does. And if I make good money, then I will continue and whatever, even though I want to just get fucked on camera. <laughs> um, and we made, I think like 12,000 in the first month, just on pictures, like fully clothed pictures. And I'm like, let's uh, crank it up a notch and see what else we can make. Right. Right. And it just started getting like, I started getting more risque and risque. And then I got my boobs done. So then I was like, I was going to ask you They're about coming that. out. They're coming out. Did you have fake boobs while you were at the restaurant? That's one thing I was no, going to ask. No. So these are only two years old. I, so I got them um, um, a year into doing OF. They paid um, for your boobs. Exactly. Yeah. They were free. Girl math. Yeah. Girl, girl, <laughs> math. girl, girl math. Girl math. Girl math. I was about to be like, no. <laughs> it's a trend on TikTok. You should go look it up. It's oh, pretty really? funny. No, yeah. but um, I would have kept my 32 A's, but you know, when you nurse humans yeah things go south okay i hear you and indented so yeah 